Hi. I didn't see you there. If you haven't noticed lately, my posts have been kind of, um... Intru... I don't know. I, I can't think of a word for it. You know, they haven't been exactly on Monday, every Monday. And that's because my life has become exceptionally busy. I have to find time to squeeze in the video. Today I'm drinking a 1975, take a look right there, uh, Stubby Paps from Ribbon while I take a shower, because after this I've got a business meeting with a couple important people. What's that? Crack that, baby. Oh, it smells fucking terrible. It smells like a wet sponge from the bottom of an ass. Do we keep sponges and asses? Because that's what it smells like. Still a bit carbonated. Not too bad. Real mild. Paps makes a really long-lasting beer. I'll give them that. Every Paps I've done this with has been palatable. Uh, you know, at 1975, it makes this beer 25 and 18, so 15, 40. Uh, 48 years old, almost a 50-year-old beer. If I haven't mentioned it before, my friend Ken and I have been doing a couple oddball videos on his channel. I'll link the last video we did. Uh, in the description down below, and you can take a look at it. It's a little more exciting than my average videos. Also, I have decided I am going to talk about the North Carolina thing. What I'm going to do is, for the moment, I'm not going to name any names. I'm just going to name the people involved and tell you exactly what happened. It's pretty horrendous. Uh, long story short, I, over time, was charged with three first-class misdemeanors and two felonies, uh, all relating from my calling the police after being harassed by a juvenile, and leaving a Facebook review in which I didn't threaten anyone or uh, in any way swear. And after being charged with all those crimes, they were all dropped. Either I'm Teflon or somebody was making some shit up to try and get somebody in trouble. <laughs> ah, it's a good pass. Maybe just relax and drink paps in the shower for your viewers and also, I'm actually naked. You can't see my penis, but there's nothing on it. But yeah, look for some good quality content in the future. I'm sorry I've been so slow to tell stories and stuff like that. I've just been kind of enjoying a nice, relaxed life after the shit that happened to me. It kind of mentally scarred me. It fucked me up pretty bad. Uh, I still have a hard time confronting others, even when I should, uh, because of just how little it took for me to end up in a year and a half legal battle that just went on and on and on and on. I also heard the uh, sheriff who pushed the legal battle ended up on desk duty. Now whether or not that's true, I don't know, but if you are watching, or you have friends who watch in the small shitball hillbilly filled fuck fast town you live in, fuck you. Fuck you, you fucking piece of shit. Anyways, uh... I do intend to inevitably release the names of everyone involved. And, you know, the evidence and whatnot. I received a 250-page felony indictment packet after they dropped the felonies. Uh, it was complete and utter nonsense. It included things like the, the lead person said that I had been following her around an island they had there called Baldhead Island, her and her work crews. And that they recorded it, but there was no evidence. There was no video, no nothing. And this is a closed island there. It's called Baldhead Island. The only way on and off is by ferry. They don't allow vehicles. So if I was on the island, all she would have had to do is call the police, and they've caught me on the island. There's, I wouldn't have been able to get off, or the ferry camera is in the terminal would have caught me. It, it just, none of what went on made sense. And while all this was going on, a local business owner hit me so hard on my bike to knock me out and break my collarbone, and the police coded that it was my fault, uh, even though I was in a crosswalk, and that my light was green and he nailed me hard enough to destroy my bike and, like I said, knock me out and permanently disfigure me. They refused to charge him initially because he was a local business owner, and he was charged with a misdemeanor, even though it's a felony in North Carolina, to uh, um, break a bone or do lasting damage. Uh, and they refused, they cited him. I went to jail three times over the shit that went on with me when I didn't actually hurt anyone or do anything at all, as is evidenced by the fact that it was all dropped. And he broke my collarbone, and they didn't even arrest him. And then they uh, issued, I believe they issued one of the felony warrants for the purpose of not allowing me to testify against him so he could walk. But, uh, you know, like I said, I'll kind of detail that further. I'm sorry this is a lengthy video. I just, I do mean to actually talk about it. I was thinking about not talking about it, but I'm not going to let people do that to me and get away with it. 
And I wouldn't want him to do it with somebody else. It was pretty gross at the end, a little chunky. Uh, we made it that far. Thanks for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe, and look for my series on the uh, corruption of a small shithole hillbilly town in North Carolina in the near future. Uh, yeah. Yeah.